haven't seen you for such a long time. How have you been? Welcome back. Sunday morning tinkle tunes with Major. So lovely to see you again. I wanted to talk to you about an artist. An artist I, I really, I really love and enjoy. This is an artist who began way back in the late 70s, kind of at the height of uh, things that were happening as far as electronic music and the certain stylings and sounds that people were beginning to play with, and, and especially here in the United States that might have been old news around the world, maybe in Europe or Japan or other certain places, but it was really reaching out its tendrils to, you know, to the folks who don't necessarily or didn't necessarily have a wide range of classical upbringings and whatnot. A uh, young man who grew up in California heard these interesting sounds, you know, from, you know, giants such as Vangelis and, and Brian Eno and, and what have you. And uh, he instantaneously fell in love with these uh, synthesizer sounds that he was hearing, just like we all do, and uh, never professed to be much of a musician. At that point in his life, I read he was, he was a motocross uh, <laughs> racing, racing motorcycles in California in the late 70s. And that's the type of dude he was, and that's what music will do to people. Uh, caught his attention just like it caught, catches the rest of our attentions and uh, ended up turning him into one of one of uh, electronic music's uh, stalwart artists um, kind of a go-to artist for me uh, on any given day um, just absolutely adore his music uh, talking about the man the artist Steve Roach Steve Roach is responsible for an insane wealth of um, his discography is absolutely enormous, um, which is great because for anyone that likes this type of stuff, uh, there's lots to choose from. From soundtrack, um, I think he's done you know movie and film scores. Um, but mostly just play with just all of his, you know, synthesizer sounds and, and uh, looping and everything that he uses, all the, the Yamaha and the Moog and just all these great sounds that he incorporates into uh, his ideas and concepts and things that he sees in his environment and around him. Uh, most of the time it can get real ethereal and spacey and uh, that's primarily the sound and the feeling and the vibe you're gonna get from this type of music is just really kind of like futuristic and quiet and uh, you feel like it's it's space camp music. <laughs> Anyone that grew up in the 80s and um, adored and loved that movie Space Camp like the rest of us, um, that's what I mean. You get I get heavy space camp vibes from his music and so I adore it. And um, that's what I mean, you get kind of that real ethereal, kind of like you're floating through space kind of uh, feel from his music. And that's that's really what he's uh, delving into a lot of the time. Um, but some of his stuff, he's visiting um, other concepts as well. There is some heavily nature-influenced music where um, he's inviting all kinds of different, um, you know, ideas and, and sound bites and things that he's recorded, you know, from nature sounds and... Um, yeah, all kinds of great stuff. He does invite and incorporate other um, acoustical um, music and, and musicians and instruments. I mean, on a lot of these recordings, sometimes you'll you'll hear the occasional acoustic guitar, you know, or even an acoustic piano. And like I said, his discography is just something to be just marveled at. <laughs> you know, he's basically had a release in some way, shape, or form almost every year. I'd say. Uh, from 1978, I think was probably his first real, um, his first real issuing of anything, of any note um, that was released on a 
I'm not sure what record label, but I think he was kind of uh, an ind independent artist throughout his very early formative years from 78, 79, 80. Um, and I believe his big smash breakthrough was Structures from Silence. I'm sure some people might be really familiar with that album. That album is just a seminal masterpiece, 1982, I believe. Um, but he got some notoriety from that. And these albums I'm featuring today, there's actually three of them, it's a three-part series, uh, kind of became kind of like the hidden, kind of the hidden gem of his discography that um, never really saw the light of day for many, many, many years until it was just recently um, picked up and reissued. I'm not sure exactly by who, but um, uh, pretty cool three-part. Uh, these were tapes, just, uh, you know, tapes that he put out on cassette like in 18, or excuse me, uh, 1984. I want to say, maybe a little bit later, I think, 1986. Yeah, 1986, but he released them independently, and so now um, here they are again for all of us to enjoy, but a three-part series just called Quiet Music, uh, each having its own kind of individual flavor and style. This first one kind of centers more around, like I said, kind of like nature sounds, very long uh, pieces, you know, A-side and B-side, 25-minute uh, pieces that just uh, really take you to some really sweet, subtle places. His music is notorious for being um, beatless, basically. Um, in some in some uh, of his albums, I've heard like in the later part of his career, in the, in the early 2000s, there was some, he incorporated some uh, synthesizer drum, drum tracks and stuff like that, but the predominance of his career was all just like, very chill, beatless stuff. Like I said, really ethereal, really cool. Um, and there's just a little bit in here for everybody that appreciates the um, the subtle sounds and of course the synthesizer electronic music of that era of the early 80s. Um, these albums just, yeah, just phenomenal. Quiet music from tapes, uh, missing tapes of his, uh, 1986. Um, highly recommend picking these up. Each individual uh, LP will run you like barely 20 bucks. So for the three of them, it's definitely a purchase uh, worth making. Uh, again, the artist, artist Steve Roach, is um, yeah, just a phenomenal artist. Everybody ought to. It's worth checking out. It's uh, great stuff to put on while you're just kind of like waking up for the day. It's also very great meditative music if you're, you know, doing some some work or you're doing some, you know, painting artistry. If you're working in the garden, um, you know what I mean. That kind of real cathartic. Um, I don't want to say trancey. I think trancey is kind of like a silly kind of bougie term to use, but that's kind of what it does to me. Is it puts me in a really uh, proper headspace to really just kind of like delve into an inner place um, and even kind of also go a little bit outward and kind of appreciate uh, and take a moment to just kind of look at your surroundings and soak it in for what it really is. Um, heavily enjoyable both, you know, in, in the headphones or just as atmospheric stuff around the house or you know, in the gym or whatever it is you're doing for the day. So check out some Steve Roach. Like I said, the dude's career, he's still going. Um, I believe born sometime in the mid 50s. So he's only really like in his mid 60s. Um, or maybe, oh gosh, is he another one of those artists that passed too early? I didn't look into him too deeply. I, I, I think he's still alive. Because um, I'm pretty sure he just, he like I said, he's put out He's put out something in some way, shape, or form every year for the last um, damn near 40 years. Um, just an insane discography. And I think he was up for a couple, if I heard right, I think he was up for a couple Grammys uh, a couple years ago. For um, I think there's still a category for Best New Age album out there. So I'm not sure if he won a Grammy, if he's ever won a Grammy. Not that it fucking matters, because that's just stupid anyway. But... Um, Music definitely noteworthy. Um, just like I said, the real kind of spacey, ethereal, electronic. Um, it's awesome. You'll feel like you're, you know, floating just outside the International Space Station, looking down on the Earth, and you know, 
young Joaquin Phoenix is in the capsule with his pal robot, you know, helping you out. So. <laughs> no one wanted to go to space camp as a kid? I know I did. Anyway, um, thanks again for joining me, everybody. Um, this has been the short and sweet um, Sunday morning tinkle tunes with Major. Um, I love e each and every single one of you, and I hope that you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. So, peace be with you. Until next time.